Hey creatives, in this video, we're going to create this small bottom sheet interaction. Just add on rectangle. This is for our header. I'm choosing this pastel color. So you can choose anything that you liked. Then add one text layer for a header text. Then add one circle. So this is for our main search. Just drag your icon as well and align properly. Then drop the filter icon and align everything. Once you align properly, Then select all of them and group it. Then we can duplicate this same shape and put it down and change the color. Then add one small circle. No need border. Then select both and click add. So it will merge with our both shapes. So if we double click this circle, so you will get this point. So we can always refine it like this. So just follow my design. Maybe we can create shape like this. Maybe we can stretch a little bit. So we're going to create like a small notch. Then use pen tool so the small line so this is for expanding our bottom sheet then we can add our other elements maybe check out Same way we can add our icon. Then select both and group it and check alignment as well. Then duplicate this text and change it to cart, maybe smaller size. So here we can add our cart items. So above we can show product list. Once users added in a cart, it will jump into this sheet. Maybe we can make it little bigger. So I'm not liking, it's very tiny. Maybe adjust a bit. Then we'll create one rectangle. So this is our product list. color maybe bit gray then add one circle so this is an image placeholder then we can add text placeholder then the price Then the quantity, maybe we can add one circle for quantity add and remove action. Align everything and group it. And 
go to free pick maybe you can download any image that you like I have downloaded already so I'm just adding my image into the placeholder again I'm changing the text then add on circle and copy paste the same that image and make it small this is for our added item so align properly and group it now we're going to make this is the component so select this right click and make a component then you right side then here just click a plus button you can create the toggle state and click one more time and create another state maybe you could name properly so you won't confuse in later select the default state and rearrange the element because there's a product list maybe we can utilize the space so i'm going to create two product in a row oh, i want it in a card view so this is my default state then click the toggle state and here we can here we can cut this element and we'll go inside the toggle state and we can paste it now we can check the state this is first state and this is a toggle state now click the state 3 here we can make it like a list view just rearrange it all like a list that way you wanted now we can verify all our three states it looks fine to me now duplicate the artboard and here maybe the bottom sheet we can push it up we can increase the height then we can move this text also and check out maybe then a center and this we can move it under like this so this could be a toggle state so we can add prototype for the toggle state tab auto animate easy in out 0.8 second and this we can make it backward let's check our prototype so if we click so element is adding again if we click it's going out once we add it in the cart we can show over bottom sheet that's it guys so you can create multiple item the same method so you can create your micro interaction Thank you.